Today, we're gonna to work on a tricky, but really cool and really beneficial Swiss triplet exercise. Let's get started. What's up drummers, welcome in. If you're new here, thank you for checking out the video. My name is Dave Major from davemajormusic.com and today we're on the practice pad checking out a Swiss triplet inversion exercise that I think is really cool, it's a little bit challenging, but there's a PDF below if you wanna grab it. So we're gonna start with what a Swiss triplet is. Now Swiss triplet is a triplet based rudiment using flams. Now to simplify this, how I like to teach it is I like to strip away the flam and strip away any accents this goes for all flam based rudiments actually. And I just look at the root sticking. Now the root sticking for a Swiss triplet is right, right, left. So that's this. Now what we do is we pop that first right so you get an accent. Very nice. And then you turn that accent into a flam and you get this. That is a Swiss triplet. So today we're gonna to take that Swiss triplet and we're gonna invert it. Now inversions are where we move the sticking in relation to the one. So first, before we start combining stuff and creating this exercise, what are the inversions of a Swiss triplet? Well, I think of a Swiss triplet as flam, right, left, or flam, single, single. So the first inversion is the normal one, either right or left lead, you have right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, or you have left, left, right, Let's call that inversion one. Now in the second inversion, you shift it to the second note. So you have either right, left, left. That's the right lead version. Or left, right, right. And finally, we'll shift it to the last note and you have right, left, flam, left, right, flam. Right, left, flam, right, left, flam, right, left, flam, right, left, flam, left, right, flam, left, right, flam, left, right, flam, left, right, flam. Those actually work really well together. They sound badass as a fill. Now to create our exercise, instead of sticking to all the right hand lead inversions and then jumping to the left, that's actually really, really hard. We're gonna jump between. So we're gonna have a right lead version going right, right, left. One bar of that, and then we're gonna put a little right, right, left, flam, left. So that's bar one and bar two. Effectively, you've got right inversion one, left inversion two. Then we jump back to the right, we have right, left, flam. And then we're gonna put this alternating flam idea here, flam, flam, to get us right back to the start of the exercise, but it flips and it's left lead. If you're confused, I'm kinda of confused talking about it, grab the PDF, it makes so much more sense. I'm gonna do it really, really slow without the metronome to start with, and I'll put on screen which inversion we're using. So it's a bit of a kind of mind exercise to get your head around it, but actually it flows really, really nicely. The great thing about these inversion exercises is they expand the musical usefulness of any of these rudiments. Often if we learn something just in its root inversion, we can kind of sound like everyone else. The Swiss triplet is an absolutely killer fill and little groove idea as well. And being able to invert it and jump between each one is really super useful. Now we're gonna start really slow. We're gonna go at 90 beats a minute. I'm gonna put in all the triplets as like little stabilizers just to keep me solid. And we're just gonna run it a few times. Again, one bar of each. One, two, three, go. Even at 90, it's sounding really, really cool. 120 is our next tempo. Now 
Now our final tempo is 150. Again, if you cannot play it at 150 straight away, build it up, take it slow, work with your click every day, building up the tempo of this. You'll gain so much more benefit than just being able to play something badly fast. Here's 150. That was a warm up. That was definitely a burn. So that'll do for today, guys. If you dug this lesson, which I'm absolutely sure you did, hit subscribe, hit like, you know what to do. But until next week, happy drumming, stay safe, and I will see you very soon.